Welcome back to the Bodie Bros. I am John with a J. And I am Phoenix Ray. And today we're going to do what we've been doing for a while, what we love doing. It's going to be really easy, probably a short version, um, just because. And that is our spirit talk. So Ray has what we like to call, at least on this show, new, 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 new shit. Not shit, not cocky, not poo poo. It's a new deck. What is it, Ray? is called mystic monday's tarot so i was out shopping um what's the name of the store earthbound it's in the mall and um i was just looking around and that's where i got this guy from this line i was in there like it's kind of like a sort of like a spiritual i don't know if you don't know of it sort of like a spiritual store in the mall they have like beads and they have just stuff like this crystals and stuff and so i was like in there and you know i was just browsing and i saw these decks and i'm like you know this deck was just calling me was like talking to me and it was just like hey and like i just felt very drawn to it and i'm like do i need another deck i just got another deck i don't know do i, I need all these yeah. decks we so i went deck. and i got like a this this guy was on clearance and i got a tank top that's on clearance and since this guy was kind of big they're like hey we could hold this for you while you go you know shop around so i just shopped around and i'm like and i kept thinking about that deck was calling me and i'm like man i don't know maybe maybe i'll go back to it so you know what i went back to pick up that and i'm like you know what i'm gonna get that deck, that deck it's a pretty calling. box it's a pretty box so it's like it, it's nice because it like opens up it's got that kind of like that oh i love that and it has the um so it has a little booklet i have There's one just booklet like, too. I have one like that too yeah, right here huh? too. Yeah. yeah yours has that and then um love that. The, the sides of the card are like the metallic and you can see that look let me see oh yeah i love when that happens so, so what the what's the act they're really nice. What? It looks, what's the name of it? Mystic Mondays Tarot. Mystic Mondays? By, yeah, by Grace Duong. Duong on, a tu- D- on a Tuesday, Duong. folks. On a Tuesday, he pulls out the Mystic Mondays deck on me. Blowing my mind here. It looks like <laughs> a lot of cards, too. How many card deck is that? Like 72? Uh, what is this? Does it say? I'm, I'm sure it says on the box. Yeah, 78. Wow. It's a massive deck. Seven. Eight cards and the book's pretty good. I mean, it's divided in half between the regular and the you know if it's reversed. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. So there's reverse reading. So yeah. So yeah. You know, All right. You know, like you were saying, this is what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a card and this will be the topic of our conversation. We're right. not necessarily pulling it for a reading, but it can be used for a reading if you have something in your life that needs answers, clarification. Right. So as Ray clears the energy of the deck. Not from a previous reading, because this is the first one done from it, um, but from the production of it all. And welcomes in the new energy, connects with heart, source, et cetera, et cetera. Clear your mind, body, heart, soul. Ask a message, ask for a message, or ask a question or set an intention. Just be totally open for whatever that we're about to talk about. And just by way of showing up for this video today, tomorrow, a year from now. Oh, dang, man, they are shiny. Um, Let's go right down Center Street. Yeah, right down in the middle. Keep going, keep going. Spread, spread them, spread them, spread them. I want to see the rainbow of the iridescence below. It's so pretty. Man, they are so glossy. Oh, wait, stop. No, go back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me, put, let me put this big stack back in the box. Woo! So the card is the Three of Cups. Bro, you know I love threes, man. Here we go. So we got three cups. Let me go look this up. It's a tarot deck, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, got right to it. Um, Here we go. So it says, every day's a party. Your social life is warring with festivals spent with quality friends and family, birthdays, weddings, happy hour, all amazing opportunities to hang with your squad. You're feeling deeply connected to your community, savoring the moments spent together. Harmony flows through your commitments and relationships. Create balance between work and play. The Three of Cups is also about groups of people coming together to work for a common cause. If you're feeling stressed, remember to take some time to relax with your loved ones. Rely on your lady friends to get you through the tough times. Let loose. Nothing is too big or too small to celebrate, especially when you're in a when you're in good company. Cheers to the love and good fortune in your life. Hug your friends, folks. Hug, 
hug your friends and hold on, man. Damn you, Ray, for pulling this card on a day of grieving. Uh, thank you for pulling this card. Um, hug your friends, folks. Lost a dear friend last night. Um, one I haven't seen in 10 years. Made lots of plans to write lots of songs and make music together in the future. We hadn't been able to get together in 10 years. And last night, sadly, he passed. So hug your friends, folks. Hug, hug them and hold them and and keep them near and seize the day. Carpe diem. Treat every day as it's your last because you never know when it's going to be your last. And relish all the time um, with your family or friends. Make new friends. Make deep eye contact. Hold your friends, folks. Hug your friends. Um, and it's okay to be sad when they pass it's okay to grieve don't try to make each other feel better when someone's gone just allow that person to feel what they're going to feel and go through their process and and hold the space for them and be there for them and just allow the the beautiful process of grieving to unfold the way it will you can come back to me ray but thanks for pulling the three of cups yeah you know that's what you said, you know, appreciate, appreciate your friends, you know, appreciate the moments you have with your friends because, you know, be very present with them. Don't take things for granted, you know, with your friends. I mean, I think we've all had friends, you know, kind of reminisce about times we've had with people. And, you know, sometimes when we're in those moments, we don't realize, you know, I won't say we always, it's not always we take it for granted, but maybe we don't fully celebrate or appreciate or live it to the fullest moment that it can be because then we always look back and we think like oh man i miss those days well where do those days go you know it's like you know so maybe that's this is saying celebrate or, or, or maybe reconnect with some people too that you haven't um spoke to in a while um you know i may have a um a reunion coming up um coming up with people that i met from grade school from eighth grade so it's like i might have that coming up next month so you know that's kind of cool because you know bring it, when I you know when I saw that online in our group and I'm like man it brought up a lot of memories and I had a lot of good memories with some of those people you know and it's um you know and you know you think those days you know we take for granted but you know where those days go and you know some of those you know sometimes life gets in the way of that stuff obligations family work maybe you know you end up moving and then other things take priority but you know I think we should always you know, make that time, make that commitment towards the people that really matter in our lives. And, you know, it's, it's easier said than done, you know, especially sometimes, you know, we have personal stuff that we go through as well. We maybe feel depressed or we may, you know, some other issue in our life may take our, our energy from us, but, you know, sometimes don't forget to celebrate, you know, go out and celebrate little things. Um, you know, the card even said, have that balance between work and play. And that balance is very important. You know, we get caught up in that work life and whatever, whatever that is, it's, um, it could be work or sometimes the setting goals. And, you know, like, like you, John, you know, you have a lot of things on their plate of different things and that you're trying to accomplish online. And, you know, you, you know, you have, you have different channels and, you know, I work retail. So my hours are always like, you know, I don't work a nine to five job. So a lot of times it's, it's hard for me to, you know, have time for friends and stuff, especially when I have, you know, my girlfriend, it's, you know, I very, but you know what though, it's, you know, I think this card is telling me that, you know, it is important and you know, what you're going through and that loss too, you know, it really just, it makes me, you know, want to like kind of reach out and, you know, there's people I haven't talked to in a while and, you yeah. know, not, you know, with that people. And it's not that, not like I got purposely pushed some of those people away. It's just, you know, I think that's just how life is sometimes, you know, you know, as time passes, but we shouldn't, we need that, we need that balance. So we need that balance to reconnect. Um, Cause you know, we all get bogged down with life and work and everything. And sometimes we forget the, the most important things. So a lot of times because we're working, we're doing those stuff, but what's the, what's the goal? The goal is to eventually to work in order to be happy. You know, you make that, I mean, you know, you make money from work or you achieve some sort of goal, and, you know, hopefully you're able to kind of reap the benefits of that and enjoy life. 
Yeah. But sometimes we get kind of lost in the process <clears throat> and we kind of forget the what it's really all about. Um, I think it reminds me a little bit of this one story. I, don't, I know I'm going to butcher this story, but there was this guy that was like playing, I don't know, I think this guy is something he was on the dock playing guitar and he owned, um, I think he owned like a boating, some kind of boating transportation. And this one wealthy guy comes up to him. He's like, dude, you're making, you could make so much more money, you know, doing this, this like, you know, you could buy, like take that money and invest in more ships and you could just do that. Then you could just market your business and then hire people and, you know, build this huge empire. And he's like, well, how long is all this going to take? Well, you know, it'd probably take another, like, you know, three years to do that. Then another five years to do that. Then, you know, you invest this money. Now you're going to be like, you know, like, okay, well then what's going to happen at the very end? He's like, well, then you could spend all day playing guitar. And he's like, I do that now. Uh, I, don't right. need, I don't need to build this all this huge thing in order to enjoy my time, you know, and that's and that guy, you know, that's the having that work balance, that work life balance. And, you know, you know, yeah, sometimes work takes you have to, sometimes it does take that commitment and dedication, putting those hours in the job, but don't lose don't lose the big picture of why you're doing this. Yeah, you maybe you're doing it because I'm going to get more money. Okay, what are you going to do with that money? You're going to buy a bigger house, bigger and better car like that. You know, but really, when you die, you're not going to be thinking about that stuff. You're not going to, you know, I mean, you're going to be, it really comes down to the connections that you made in life. And those connections, you know, have you been true to yourself? You've been authentic. Have you really loved, you know, <clears> that's, those are what's important. So, yeah, work is important. Do your work, but don't, don't neglect the play don't neglect the connections you made and the connections you know don't sacrifice that in order just right. to and get more stuff yeah and i would say very beautifully said my friend and thank you for expanding on on that um uh, the theme that we've started together here um in in the way that you have sorry i'm just my head's everywhere um but I would also like to say, and there's no but, I mean, in addition, I would like to say, um, well, when you have those opportunities too, or, or invitations like artists, you know, and, and I would argue that we're all artists, as you've heard me argue before, but you know, we, we, we procrastinate or, you know, we say, oh, it's, I'm not ready yet. Or it's not, if I write this book or if I do this pay, I'm not good enough yet. Or the words aren't going to be right. The story's not going to be perfect. And we, we push projects off. We push projects off. We push projects off. And like with this particular person um, that has passed, I had an open invitation to go, to go see him whenever. And, and um, I, I really just, would have to find a way to get there. And there's always a way to get there if you want to get there. But I think the, ex, you know, I, I don't have any money. I don't have any money, but that wasn't even a thing. It was like, we'll get, if you want to be here, we'll find a way to get you here. And so just be, be open to whatever ways you can to get to your people and don't think that things have to be perfect to, to start that project or to reunite with that person or those people or that try, like say you moved away from your tribe or your family, whatever like that, and, or your best friend. And you're like, well, I want to lose 50 pounds before I see them again. Or I want to, you know, I, I want to have a successful job or something before, you know, then, then I'll feel worthy of being back in their company or, or I don't want to just go up to where they live and freeload or, you know, like your, 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 your friends, your people, your, your soul, tr those, those heart to heart connections don't give a shit about feeding you or clothing you or, or if you're going to be able to afford to take care of things while you're there, they just want you as, as you want them. So don't here folks, don't, don't allow those things. I mean, they're going to come up for you. Those are real valid concerns and, and things that we battle with, but I would challenge you to, to work through those things, become lovingly aware of them and listen to that aspect of you that does want to connect and, and, and maybe honor uh, that side of the equation and, and take the leap of faith. Go, go 50 pounds heavier, go without a dollar in your pocket and just have the adventure 
reunite, connect, hug your friends, hold your people, folks, and treat every, you know, I like what Ray says, um, treat every day as it's, as it's as if it's your last. And Ray would say, treat every day as it's your first day, right? Do, do it both. Treat every day as if you only get one day and, and see it with eyes of, of newness and, and treat it as if when the sun goes down, that's it. There's not going to be a tomorrow. Try, you know, you don't have to do that every day, but once in a while, allow yourself to to meet the day with that type of excitement and and end it and pack it full of stuff and end the day like tomorrow's not going to happen. And then if it does happen, fucking a man, do it all over again or rest from the exhaustion from you know that marathon of a day you have. But you, you you'll I think you'll fade from this planet with a lot less regrets and and. You, you know, you'll meet that bed of death with, with satisfaction versus, you know, like, man, what if, you know, screw what if I didn't come to this planet for what ifs I came to what's next, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's like, so you don't want to go, you don't want to live your life with regret. Regrets are the worst thing to me. I, I'd rather go take that journey. Even if I was, like you said, heavier, unsuccessful, whatever those things that you think you maybe those obstacles getting in the way of reconnecting with somebody and you think maybe it's going to be awkward, whatever those awkward or whatever, I'd rather risk that or play those odds than and keep it safe and then be like, then down the line, you know, be like, man, I really wish I would have just, you know, I, I wouldn't have listened to those thoughts that, you know, those insecurities or things had to be different before I, I met up with that person or whatever you know, those regrets are usually what weigh on you more than, than those things that you think you're going to get judged on or whatever. That's, you know, that's just the ego trying to protect you and, you know, like that, but that's, you know, honor that, listen to it, but doesn't mean you have to, you know, you have freedom of choice. You have free will. And, you know, sometimes you get to take that, you know, it's always, you know, growth always comes from going outside your comfort zone. Book the trip. You know, we always say it's okay to ask for help. And the theme today is book the trip. <laughs> get in the car. If you can't get in a plane, shit, hop on a sailboat. There's a way to get there. Book the trip. Yeah, make it happen. So. I've got nothing else, man. I think we've said it. We wanted to do a short episode. You got anything else? I'm good, man. All right. Thank, thank you for thank you. allowing um, this episode, Phoenix Ray, to be short. I told him that's all I have the bandwidth for today. I need to go sit in a park and just feel all these things. And um, so without any further ado, from our hearts to yours, I'm John with a J. I'm Phoenix Ray. Namaste. We'll see you next time. Yeah.